Hey, hey, music lovers, welcome back. I'm going to talk about Unit 1 uh, right now. And um, again, it's in content. I'm sure if you navigated here and found it, then, then you know how to get there. But everything uh, that we do is kept in content, all 15 units. You won't see these because I have them as drafts. Uh, you will see midterm two here. So um, I already talked about syllabus and I already talked about discussion board. So I'm not going to talk about that. If you haven't watched those videos, please do so. So, uh, you know, they're kind of important. I mean, the same info is covered in the syllabus if you read it. But uh, sometimes uh, people like to hear the teacher say it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this week, well, you have something due by Wednesday night. It's the orientation. I want to get this over with with you as fast as possible. Uh, if you don't take it Wednesday, uh, Thursday morning, I will be emailing you. It's simple. You can just go through it, and, and you can take it as many times as you like until you get the, the grade that you want and uh, the grade does count so so do it it's an easy hundred to get you started at the beginning of the semester <clears throat> it's just about due dates and all the things that i'm talking about in these videos uh, i just want to go over week one and um, uh, tell you a little bit about what, what we're going to study and where we're starting and, and things like that uh, in every one of these chap uh, units you will see an overview of what we're doing that week. Objectives, what I hope that you learn from it. Uh, and this is all the orientation uh, points here. Uh, you always see a study guide and then followed by a, a video lecture of what we're, what we're going to watch. These two work together. Um, you're going to open up the study guide. You can uh, download it and download button and then you'll see either this will open up and you can save it and print it um, or sometimes it opens up down here too so print those out and use them oh also available at the bookstore so if you want one uh, your printer stinks like mine at home <coughs> sorry excuse me you go to the bookstore and buy one they're like eight bucks they're really cheap they're probably cheaper than stupid uh, printer cartridges right gosh it drives me nuts so you can see this. You can kind of see it's fill in the blank. Mostly everything is is in the videos. Um, sometimes towns, sometimes important names, concepts, and the names of each jazz period. Uh, more on this in a little bit. Uh, let me get out of this. Go back to unit one. That's the study guide. Then, uh, as I said before, you need Dropbox to view video lecture number one. Click here to watch. <clears throat> half of this is on YouTube right now and they took the other half off because of copyright so I linked it to Dropbox so you can watch this it's 45 minutes long the great Dr. Billy Taylor spokesman for jazz for years right it should be 45 minutes long if you have Dropbox, uh, if you don't download Dropbox, what happens is, and this opens up in its own screen, <clears throat> you'll only watch 10 minutes and you'll be emailing me, there's only 10 minutes on there. Da, 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 da. You have to download Dropbox, so please do that. That's kind of how the, the, the whole basis of the course. Week one is basically orientation and one video lecture to get you in the swing of things. <clears throat> you can follow your breadcrumb trail up there, up the top is what I'm doing. <clears throat> This is your orientation. So click on each one of these, read it, and uh, we're just getting you through, uh, getting you through all the little sections that we have here: um, assessments, content, all the buttons up at the top, right? How to how to navigate uh, through Brightspace, study guides. Uh, this will take you to the discussion board. You can you can click here, or you can go up. <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, or you can go to discussions to get there. Two ways to get to the discussion board. And then you have your orientation quiz and your history of jazz quiz. This is set for five attempts. This is this is one of the harder ones of the class. The information is a little bit older than, than the other uh, rock and roll things that we're talking about from basically the 50s and the 60s on up. But this goes way back. And some people have trouble. I think the video is a little grainy of, of Dr. Billy. 
and it's from the 80s it's old but it's the best one that doesn't mean just because the quality of the video is bad doesn't mean the video is bad um, you know some of you won't like jazz because you just don't get it yet <clears throat> so that's that's chapter uh, unit <laughs> unit one in a nutshell um, by Wednesday night I want the orientation quiz done and you all know the guidelines of the course you'll be familiar with uh, what's going on by Thursday night and, and basically by Thursday night there's a deadline for the discussion board every Thursday night main post if you don't get it Thursday night you can do it Friday Saturday or Sunday but it's going to be a point deduction if you do everything Sunday night you do your main response and three responses uh, I'm gonna dock about um, 15 20 points off so you won't have a 50 you'll have a 35 depending on the quality of your work if the works kind of kind of not uh, not up to standards then you've got a 30 it is good but you you're late um, 38 which equals about a 76 so your choice get it done early and three response if you do your you could these are the deadlines if you want to post on Monday you're the first one I mean I would love that and you're going to do your responses Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, or you're going to do them all on Friday, I'm good with that. I just don't want it done at the last minute. That's what I'm trying to avoid. You do all your responses Friday or, or on Saturday, I'm good with that. Um, what I'm asking for is that your responses are done uh, one a day, one Friday, one Saturday, one Sunday, so you can check in and respond to other people that are, that are doing it. But if you're going earlier than that, and and doing it early i got no beef with that and i'm probably going to get award you 50 points for it just because you're doing it early so uh, i want to re i want to make a point of that which i think i neglected okay uh, a little bit of history of jazz all right um i, I love uh, i'm a jazz lover so uh and, and and i worked my way into jazz by what was happening when i was a kid and we all work our way backwards. Nobody's, you're not going to be a born lover of 1920s blues or jazz. It's kind of a, 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 a taste, acquired taste, that um, you got so into one period that you work your way back. Jazz history is really about 15 time periods. People say they hate jazz. I'm like, oh, you, you hate period 1, period 8, period 9, period 12, period 15? You hate them all? No, 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 I just don't like this. I'm like, oh, you don't like number four, right? So you don't even know what you like and what you don't like till you kind of see the whole ball of wax. And, and maybe you sit, watch the whole video and you're like, I really hate it all. Then, then good for you. Um, you know, uh, jazz has combined with, with all other forms, including hip-hop. In the 90s, there were some really, really cool groups who were doing, uh, taking old jazz musicians, uh, taking maybe the recordings and sampling, or the musicians themselves, and getting them to play on their recordings. How cool is that? Uh, th by the end of this class, you'll see that it's all related. And you, you, you hate jazz, but you love hip hop. You're not seeing the light, my brothers and sisters. You're not seeing the light. It's all related. Everything's linear. So, what happens? in 2019 is going to be directly related to what happened in 2018. If you're a young musician then and you grew up from 2012 to 2018, those six years are really important. You're going to have some major influences and your sound in 2019 is going to be a reflection of those sounds that came I don't know, five or ten years before. I don't know, how, maybe you were born to a family that just played music all the time. Then every single day of your life is an influence right so we're going to go back we're going to see the slaves are freed the slaves get musical instruments and all of a sudden there's a new sound happening it's not the european art music it's not beethoven and bach and and the music of the 1800s it's something happening that's different and it's called the blues the blues is a form of music but the blues is also a type of music that uses a certain scale and the scale is important because that scale is going to revolutionize the whole world. I kid you not. So we start out with uh, and also a little bit of technology. The record player is, is d developed, uh, invented by Thomas Edison, 1873, I think. And by 
by 1890, there's a record industry. There's millions of records being sold. They're on little toilet paper looking things called cylinders. By the turn of the century, uh, it, it's in high gear. And also we get to, to, a, to the vinyl discs, even though they were made of shellac and they broke real easy. By 1910, we've got million sellers. We've got a business on our hands. And, and so the blues are, are rampant and ragtime is rampant. Ragtime sounds like, I don't know, you would know it from cartoon music and video games. Uh, a guy named Scott Joplin. Uh, and his piano style, and it spreads all over the country and all over the world. Also, in, in the uh, late 1800s, Fisk Jubilee Singers from a college singing group of, of all black kids uh, are discovered to sing this new style of music called the spiritual, which is actually the blues. And it's going to go viral, except we don't have computers. It's going to go viral by way of ship. They're going to tour Europe in person and spread this music to Europe and it goes viral uh, except <laughs> it's not a computer it's people going to see this new group in concert the records are transported across the ocean to Europe as well and it goes viral via records right so it's kinda cool and by 1920 there's people in the country playing this new style of music and there's people in the cities we're going to call this music the blues, and we're going to call this music country. And by 1930, boy, oh boy, oh boy, we're recording Mom, Pa, Kettle out in, in uh, <clears throat> the Mississippi cotton patches. And by gosh, we got a whole new style of music going on. Um, what we're talking about in this particular video is the, the, the path of jazz, ragtime, to the Dixieland jazz of New Orleans to Louis Armstrong in New Orleans, and New Orleans gets shut down, the, the red light district gets shut down, and they all go to Chicago. So guess what's the next hub of jazz? Chicago. And Louis Armstrong and all the great musicians are up in Chicago. And then some of them move to New York, and it moves to New York, and it's going to move to all the cities and out to, to California. And what the big lesson here is every style of music, including jazz, goes through a process, a metamorphosis. It's going to combine with other musics. Jazz is going to combine with classical music. Jazz is going to combine with Latin. Jazz is going to combine with rock. And we're going to study Carlos Santana <clears throat> and, and Latin rock. So it's, it's kind of a, a mini dissection of, of what's going to happen when we study country, when we study Latin, when we study rock, when we study hip hop. They all have a meta, uh, an evolution. That's the word I'm looking for, an evolution. So I want you to enjoy this. Any, uh, remember, you get to take the quiz five times. Five times. Take it once to see what's on it, once for kicks, and then go back, read, and get as many of the notes as you can. Use Wikipedia as a source. Go to, Wik go to Wikipedia, type in jazz history, ba-boom, you're going to see all the periods of jazz I'm talking about and all the people. Um, if you get stuck and you're like, this stupid guy doesn't have the, this video that some, some of the blanks are, you think aren't filled in, send me an email and I'll tell you what it is. I've been through these things um, a, a million times uh, and, I, and I can almost do it by not even looking at my notes. It's memorized. Number one, I had to go through these and make the notes, so for the most part, they're all there. Now, in some cases, I do add additional information, and I've tried to make sure that that's not a blank, but I might have missed it. This course was formed for a face-to-face -face class, later developed into internet course. Um, it's not perfect, but uh, I will buy some way and somehow get you the answer to those blanks. So um, I went a little long, but that's a little bit about Unit 1. We're at 15 minutes. I'm going to, to stop it here. Thanks for listening.